Kim Kardashian's pirate blouse falls off her shoulder as she smolders to plant new collection of KKW crystal fragrances just in time for Christmas. Kim Kardashian has a new collection of fragrances set for release on November 15. To promote the scents, the 37-year-old siren shared an arresting image to Instagram on Friday. The Keeping Up With The Kardashians star wore a white pirate's blouse that she tugged at along with a crystal necklace. The three fragrances all have crystal in the headline. Her caption read, Crystal Gardenia, Crystal Gardenia Citrus and Crystal Gardenia Out Available Worldwide, 1115 Co Fragrance. Comical Fragrance. In her portrait by photo team Mert and Marcus, she smolders with not too much makeup and messy black locks. Another image is of the white bottle on a bed of crystals. This is not Kim's first step into the fragrance world. About a decade ago she launched a floral fragrance that has sold well. That was with her old KK logo. She now has a cleaner, more modern look. This launch comes after the success of her beauty line that includes a contour kit and powder kit. Also on Friday Kim is seen in a teaser for Sunday's episode of Keeping Up With The Conditions. Scott looks beleaguered as he admits he feels insecure and scared that Kurt and his new beau, 24-year-old model, Yanis Ben Jimmer, will replace him and the family may think they don't really need to be close to the party boy any longer. The troubled reality star looks rattled as he sits on a sofa across from Gold Cucumber Kim. He has facial stubble and wears a hoodie, which is a stark contrast to the young preppy millionaire image he used to project. Desik immediately wears his insecurities on his sleeve as he opens his heart to Kim, 37. It seems as if he worries not just about his love Courtney falling in love with another man, but the entire family forgetting him. Sometimes I feel kind of insecure, the self-proclaimed Lord says. What if there is a new Scott and everyone thinks we don't really need to be close to him anymore? It's a scary thing for me. It's understandable why losing his ties to the family troubles the Long Island, New York native. Not only is he financially dependent on the Kardashians, he also depends on them emotionally as they supported him after the back-to-back -back deaths of his parents. Chris Jenner is the closest thing Scott has to a mother. But the chances Scott will be totally cut off are not likely as he and Courtney share three kids Mason, aged seven, Penelope, aged five, Anne and Rain, aged two. They split in 2015 after nine years together. Scott says, like, if Courtney met someone, fell in love and got married and then everyone's like, A, hey, we have a new Scott we don't really need to be close with him anymore. He adds, even though I get it we have kids together. But it's a scary thing for me. Kim, wearing a white top with her hair down, then says, my true advice would be let's cross that bridge when we get to it. The two started by talking about Scott's outlandish behavior in Canon May when he looked close to several women including Bella Throne and his now girlfriend Sophia Ritchie. Scott was trying hard to make Courtney jealous because she has a new love in her life. So fans were treated to photos of a drunk Scott with models and a happy Courtney with handsome Yannis. It just looked like it was some big soap opera going on it was like a fun show, said Kim. Scott counters, I didn't see the show because I was living it. But look at it from my perspective. She was on vacation with one man, a whole trip. That looks like a happier scenario than me, jumping around trying to find happiness and these girls are not fulfilling that. I'm just not happy with anybody. Kim then tries to add a dose of common sense. Honestly, I think it's beyond the girls at this point. I think if you found someone that you were happy with, I think Courtney would be happy for you. But she sees you out and really drinking and really going through it. Like she just had concern, says the level-headed star. Scott then argues Courtney never expressed her concerns to him.
Kim doesn't mince words. This is where I think you're not getting it. He counters, I get it. It's not right. And I can understand that. That is when he says, like, if Courtney met someone, fell in love and got married and then everyone's like, A, hey, we have a new Scott, we don't really need to be close with him anymore. Even though I get it, we have kids together. But it's a scary thing for me. Kim then skillfully ends the conversation. My true advice would be let's cross that bridge when we get to it. The selfish author comes off as empathetic as she hugs the outcast and says, I love you, no judgment. In her later interview, Kim says, it's taking him a little bit longer or a lot longer than Courtney. Scott admits in his interview that he went astray in Cannes. It's tough. I mean, I don't live the cleanest looking life. I'm a guy. I'm a little younger. Maybe the way I'm getting over her is a drop different, and it's hard. I don't really know what to do. If I step out of line one way, I could lose everybody in the matter of a second. He seems to be doing better now that he has fallen into the arms of 19-year-old model Richie. They have been together since mid-September, though they look to be more than friends in Cannes in May. At the time she called him a homie. Keeping up with the Kardashians airs Sundays, 9 p.m. A. On you.